Listen up, motherfuckers. Is, is it lipstick? Yes, it is. Do I want to talk about it? No. <laughs> Look, man, just just skirt past it. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't wanna... Anyways, I just, I, I would usually allocate these types of videos, right, to a commentary. But I was like, I need y'all to see my raw emotion, my love, my passion, my anger, and my sorrow. So we're doing a we're doing a video, man. We're doing a video. Two hours and thirty minutes. Over two hours and thirty minutes was I in that theater. I have never watched a film or experienced any type of media that broke me down like Spider-Man No Way Home. We have to take it back. We have to have a backstory about my love for this character, this franchise, and the fucking injustice that has been bestowed onto me for the past 20 years! First grade, I will never forget, big ass Marvel fan. I had this Avengers, it wasn't even Avengers, it was literally just a bunch of, of Marvel superheroes. It was like a backpack or, or a lunch pail. I brought it to class and my classmates, they looked at it and proceeded to roast the fuck out of me. Why do you have this superhero lunchbox? Superheroes are for babies, because obviously you're in first grade, so you, your insults are then you're, you're a baby. When you get to middle school, your insult is that you're an elementary student. When you get to high school, the insult is that you're a middle schooler. When you get to college, the insult is that you're a high schooler. That's just, that's just how life works. And so they're ridiculing me for having this superhero lunchbox. And I remember I just made up an excuse. And I was like, oh, my parents didn't have enough money to buy me a new lunchbox, which is what a lunchbox is like, what, one dollar nigga? But n nobody fucking questioned me on that shit, obviously, because we're like children. And I, I, I think I remember destroying that lunchbox as soon as I got home, because I was all like, bro, everybody thinks I'm... <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm uncool because I have this fucking Avengers lunchbox. And you know what happened that same damn year. That same year, the MCU started with Iron Man 1 and everybody and their mom started to love superheroes. If I could go back in time, I would spit on all of y'all niggas' fucking lunch pails. Give me that fucking juice box, that damn Capri Sun. <laughs> Bitch. I remember all y'all niggas by name. You a bitch. I had a crush on you, but. You was like the only girl in the class. Fuck you, bitch. You was my best friend, nigga. I mean, I still talk to you, but fuck you, nigga, bitch. I've been rocking. I've been rocking with the MCU before the MCU was even a thing. Ah! Ah! Y'all only joined the MCU after Iron Man. Y'all only came in after the Avengers 2012. I'm like, I've been here since. I had Spider-Man 1, 
That bitch might have still been on a fucking VHS tape. I forget. I had Spider-Man 2. I had Spider-Man 3. I had the fucking disc, disc box set with the fucking bloopers, with the fucking music videos, with the fucking vindicated. I am selfish. I am wrong. I am right. I swear I'm right. Swear I knew it all along. I'm fucking, fucking. I am so high. I can hear the buzz. I am so high. I can hear the buzz. No buzz chilling. The chilling they don't hear me when they say. Stand in way. I hold on to the wings of the eagle. Watch as they all fly away. Ah! Bo, y'all don't even fuck with Nickelback. I've been back in Nickelback for 20 plus years. Y'all joke about. Bro, y'all gotta calm down. Damn, stop yelling. Y'all hype about this video for no damn reason. Nah, I'm not done talking my shit. Y'all, y'all came in, y'all came to love superheroes after they fucking blew up in popularity. Y'all don't even remember when Andrew first was announced to be Spider-Man and everybody was clowning his ass. His fucking video came out and shit with the fucking premiere. It was fucking the amazing Spider-Man fucking Mirror's Edge. It was first person Andrew doing fucking Mirror's Edge faith type shit. And there was a bunch of fucking dislikes on that video, bruh. I, 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 I was one of them. <laughs> Bro, chill out, man. I was like 10, dude. Come on, bro. It was a mistake. I didn't know that. I didn't know what I was doing. Bro, y'all just have to realize, right? This movie, man, it was literally a culmination of childhood, adolescence, adulthood. At least for me, right? It's like it's like it's crazy when I think about it because it's like, I feel like I was born in the, just the perfect time for Spider-Man to quite literally be, to have this evolution in my life where it, it hits every period of, where it hits every significant period of my life, essentially. Like Peter, like uh, Sam Raimi Spider-Man, like he was born in like the 80s. Or whatever. He was born in like 85. Then Andrew's Spider-Man was born in 95. And then Tom's Spider-Man, he's literally like a month older than me. He was born August. August like 15th, 2001. So there's almost like a 10 year gap between all of the Spider-Men. And it's like Toby was there since I was born. And then Andrew was there when I was... Well, no, I would have been not a teenager, but just hit double digits. I just hit 10 or whatever. Basically a tween. And then Tom came in at the latter half of my teens into my adulthood. And it was like going into this movie. We didn't know if the, the rumors were true about all, the, all three Spider-Men being in this film. But I, I, was, I was holding on to hope. I was holding on to hope that Toby was shot! Ah! Bro! Bro, I have to tell you, yo, just all of those, just all of that thought was in my mind leading up to this movie, right? And I was just in the theater 
the, the, like, like, the trailers didn't even start. Like, the previews for the, the, the movies beforehand didn't even start yet. I was already emotional. I was already crying, bro. I was in the theater like, hold on, I have my bitch-ass mask on because of fucking, uh, Corona, it's like, you don't know what the fuck is going on. I was, I was in that bitch like, Bro, the fucking movie trailer started coming on. I was looking at the fucking preview of Uncharted and I was still thinking about because fucking uh, Tom Holland is, is the main character in that one too. So I'm just looking at Tom and I'm just like, oh my gosh, imagine if Toby shot. <laughs> bro, I was, bro, I was in that bitch. I look like a fucking, oh my, I'm not even going to say what I sound, what I, what I was looking like, bro, but I was, bro, I was, I was, I was looking like a, <laughs> no, let me, let me know. I, <laughs> <laughs> Let me not say that. But so I was going into this film, right? And I was loving it, bro. I was loving every second of it. Just seeing all the previous villains show up, right? And I was, it was like halfway through the movie or what? I, I forget what it was. It was like, if they don't show up, it's okay. If Toby and Andrew don't show up, I am fine with this movie. I still think it's a great movie. When fucking Ned did the, when fucking Ned did the wax on wax off shit with the little fucking uh, Doctor Strange joint, bro. Bro, as soon as they was all like, we have to find Peter. I knew what the fuck was going on. As soon as I saw that, that nigga was in the fucking alleyway. He was all like. It was just a mannerisms. I could just tell. I was like, yo, that is Andrew, bro. It is Andrew. And then after I saw. Hold the fuck up. Hold the f Actually, I'm going to get to that in a second. I'm not going to lie to you. Halfway through Andrew's street, I was like, please just, please just show Toby. Please, please just show Toby. in the fucking theater, bro. I have my fucking, I have my fucking bitch ass 3D gla uh, glasses on, bro. I'm just sitting there like, I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, where's Tommy? Where's Tommy, bro? And then he comes out, bro. I was squealing. I was squealing. And this, this is the part about the movie experience that fucking pissed me off, right? My theater was fucking dead, bro. It was dead. Like, like, okay. This, this is... I don't even want to go into But it pisses me off I can't even fucking Averberate that shit This was This was This is my theater I'm not even exaggerating Andrew comes out Dead silent Somebody behind me says, <laughs> who is that? <sighs> I'm hearing other people talk about how when Toby came out, their theater went wild, clapping, cheering. 
I think like one nigga on the fucking side of me fucking clapped when when Toby came out and another person fucking gasped. And then somebody was like, oh, that's the original one. Yeah, bitch, it was! Toby got Danny McGuire! The original one, nigga, he is the one! Bitch! Bro, I'm, bro, I'm in my fucking, I'm in my fucking mask, trying not to fucking die in this theater, because, because the thing is, I'm not trying to be an asshole, I'm not trying to be an asshole, like, I'm literally having to freaking, like, cover my mouth whenever I get excited, I'm like, Because nobody's reacting. Nobody is. I will. This this is the moment that just pissed me off. People were more receptive to fucking Ned's grandmother than they were to actual good jokes. Nobody knew the inside references within the movie, bro. He said people the most laughs. The most, the, the most interaction my theater had with the movie was when Ned's grandma said she was going to bed. I wish I was fucking lying. When, when Toby fucking talking about his back problems, when, when, uh, 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 bro, I'm drawing a blank because that shit just pissed me off, bro. There are so many more. I'm something of a scientist myself. Bro, crickets! Like I'm not like I'm not even that big of a Marvel dude, but I felt like I felt like a level 99 certified Marvel geek just being in a room full of fucking normies that didn't know shit. Like like have you ever watched a Marvel film? Rest in peace, rest in peace to his soul. But have you ever watched a Marvel film where Stan Lee shows up and you have to tell people, oh, this is Stan Lee. He's da 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 da. That's what I felt like throughout the whole entire movie. There were so many fucking inside jokes and inside references that I was just so hyped about that was flying over people's head, bro. I would not be surprised if niggas didn't even get the fucking Miles Morales reference within the film, bro. Like, ugh. Oh, I felt so damn disgusted. I'm like, who are these fucking heathen motherfuckers in my theater? This is one pagan ass fucking movie theater. I, I, I forget what joke it was. There was one joke that just took me out. <laughs> Bro, I was, bro, again, I was trying, <clears throat> I was trying not to be an asshole, bro. But there was one joke that just took me out, and I think it was the Avengers joke, where, where, where all three of them, all three of the Spider-Men were in a room, or, no, no, it was like the final battle, and then Tom was all like, I, I don't mean to brag, guys, but I was in the Avengers, and it <laughs> Bro, I'm losing my voice, bro. Then Toby's all like, the Avengers? That's great. What is that? <laughs> bro, behind my mask, bro. I could not hold that bitch back. I hit my fucking... <laughs> bro, I can't even do it because... <clears throat> my voice is... Bitch, did I just get fucking... Uh, uh, my, did I just get coronavirus recording this video? Holy shit! I hit the meanest. Uh -huh. <laughs> bro, I'm just thinking about. Bro, I'm thinking about it right because, bro, there was like a dad and her mom. 
what was that sentence? There was a there was a little girl and her dad next to me, right? After the joke went off, I just hit the oh. <laughs> the whole fucking theater is silent, and then I just I just I just I'm just all like I'm just all like. Because I'm making sure he doesn't think I'm, I'm making sure they don't think like I'm some sort of like asshole or something because I don't want to be that dude in the movie theater. Even though there were two bitches behind me talking the whole fucking time. Who is that? Th this bitch. This bitch. This bitch. This bitch. Bro, honestly, it was like, it, I, I don't know if it's my fault, if it's the theater. Or if it was a time frame, I went to go see the movie a week after release. So maybe if I went uh, at it, if I watched it like premiere or like premiere weekend, that would have been, it would have been a hyper experience. But it was like, it was so dead, bro. And I was thinking maybe this was like people's second time viewing it. But it was all like, no, I could hear people reacting to shit. So it had to have been the first time, but it was all like the reactions are so dead and you don't get the inside jokes or anything that's going on. And I mean, I can't be I can't fault it, but I'm just all like, bro, if I was alone watching this movie, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Bro, if I was alone watching this movie, my nigga, I would have got pregnant and I don't even. Bro, that final battle, man, <laughs> when all three of them fucking. <laughs> they was all like, let's go. And they all started fucking running in unison, bro. <laughs> to the battle together! <laughs> they all fucking posed on the Statue of Liberty! <laughs> <sighs> 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 Absolutely magnificent. <clears throat> Bro, when Toby got stabbed, man. <laughs> I was getting ready to march down to Marvel Studios, my damn self, and do some not so legal things to their fucking building. He said, I, I, I didn't even go into detail, but when I say I was crying the whole entire film, bro, as soon as, I, like I said, as soon as the, the fucking, before the credits, excuse me, before the preview started rolling, I was already in tears. All throughout the film, I was continuing, I was continuously crying. I was continuously crying at, at multiple moments. I couldn't even fucking wipe away my tears because as soon as I would try to, I would just start thinking about something else and start crying. Like, it was so bad to the point that when Aunt May died, <clears throat> and I'm sorry if people thought this was... Oh, no. I was, I was so cried out from crying about other bits of the film that weren't even sad that when Aunt May cried, died, I was like... Yeah, this, uh, I don't have any more tears for you. I'm sorry. I mean, I know this is sad, but bro, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm all liquid out. I'm teared out. But man, my tears did not stop flowing. And bro, when Toby got stabbed. <sighs> oh, bro, I'm trying to remember my emotions.
Dios. Bro, I felt so betrayed. I felt so betrayed. Bro, I was behind my mouth. Bro, bro, I was the only one in the theater, man. I was the only one in the theater, man. Honest to God, bruh, this might be a controversial ass take. Tom is my favorite, bruh. I said it, bruh. Tom is my favorite, bruh. Like, like, sh like, honestly, I'm not about to be, I'm not, a, I'm not a dickhead, and I'm not, a, I'm not about to be all like, uh, this this is the best Spider-Man. This is the worst Spider-Man. Like obviously, I have my ranking of who I like more, most and who I like the least. But I'm not about to shit. Um, but I'm not about to shit on somebody. I'm not about to shit on any of the actors. But I just I'm thinking I'm thinking back. I'm like Toby. I fucking adore right. And not even like nostalgic based. Like I went back and rewatched these movies. Maybe like a year or two ago <clears throat> and I still fucking love him and I feel like Toby's era really kind of like takes me back I guess it kind of is nostalgia it really takes me back to my childhood essentially whereas Tom Tom Spider-Man I just adored every film that he's been a part of and I feel like it's helped me in so many aspects of life. Like, each and every film legitimately, man. Like, the first film, and excuse me, I get, I get the names mixed up a lot. <clears throat> but the first film, uh, Homecoming, that was, that came out when? 2016, 2017-ish? It was July of 2017, and I was, I was just, uh, I would have been freaking 16 at the time, actually. And I remember this, the film just really spoke to me, like mid-teens. Excuse me, excuse me, hold on, I'm getting way too ahead of myself. And at this time, I had nothing going on in my life. I had... Actually, holy shit, that might have been maybe like a month or two before I decided to stop posting videos on my uh, previous channel. So I was mostly free and not doing, I had nothing going on in life. And so I decided I was inspired from this movie <laughs> to start taking gymnastics, actually. And so I was taking gymnastics for like a month or so. And then I sprained my middle finger, legitimately, that, that's not even a joke. And after I sprained my middle finger, I decided, yeah, this shit's not for me. I'm going to do dancing instead. <laughs> and, Quince, and now that's just like, that's become a huge part of my life, dancing in that. And then the second film, Far From Home. That came out in June of 2019, and that was before a couple months before I would turn 18. And I remember watching that film, and like I, I had spent most of my, I don't want to say life, well, kind of, I am, it, it is most of my life, but especially most of my teens, just hating everything, like just hating all aspects of life and shit. And I remember just, there was something about that film that just made me go, it was something about that film and the culmination of Homecoming that made me look back on life and just go, like, bro, I am, I am about to leave my teenage years behind. I'm about to enter adulthood. I can't enter this chapter of my life with continuous hate.
and continuous sadness and depression. Like, I, I have to fix my shit. And if anybody, if anybody here is uh, a subscriber of mine, I, I've talked about having like a playlist on Spotify and on YouTube of things that give me joy. Spider-Man Homecoming, I mean, Spider-Man Far From Home was the inspiration for that freaking playlist. Uh, the first couple songs within my playlist of stuff that makes me happy is things from that soundtrack. And also things from various other Marvel titles. And that film just helped me become more happy, I feel. And this film, the third film in the trilogy. I mean, I've talked about my love for this for 34 freaking minutes, bro. I just, every film that Tom has been a part of has just, it's just spoken to me in such a way. That as much as I am a Toby and Sam Raimi fanboy, it's just all like, I, I, I freaking love, I, I adore, I adore Tom's like interpretation. I adore um, the character in just the movies that Marvel slash Sony. I'm not sure how exactly that works, but I just love the films that Marvel have created with Tom, and I legitimately just love. Eh, every aspect of this new Spider-Man. And I'm not sure if people have said that his contract is ended. Some people have said, no, he's obligated. No, he has to do three other movies preceding uh, uh, No Way Home. But I'm not sure exactly how that goes because, you know, Sony and Disney. Ugh, yeah, ugh. Okay, now it talks about a toxic relationship. But yeah, man, it's just, it's absolutely wild, bro. I remember at the end of the movie, right? I was just <laughs> fucking ecstatic, bro. And the little girl that was next to me, I remember she turned to her dad and, and she was all like, Dad, this was a good film. And I was just thinking to myself, Bitch, are you stupid? This was absolutely fucking magnificent! You was born in fucking 2015. Of course you don't understand the fucking magnitude of this grandiose fucking crossover. But it was just, it was just like, it was just an all around just amazing experience, you man. Like, like this, like this is like a one time thing, you know, like this is like this moment, like you lot who, like we who have seen this movie, firsthand without any of the leaks without knowing anything about it this shit will never happen again think about it think of like moments like this are are like in spoilers for freaking i mean if if you haven't if you don't know anything about it, just, whatever if spoilers are freaking final fantasy 7 and uh the avengers endgame obviously you probably would have watched it and whatever other things i can think about like Nobody will can play Final Fantasy 7. Did I say 15 or 7? Final Fan I'm talking about Final Fantasy 7. Nobody can play Final Fantasy 7 nowadays and not expect the death of Eris. Everybody knows that it's coming. Back in the day, people didn't expect for characters to die permanently in games like that. So that was just a heart-wrenching death of a character. But now that shit is such a meme that everybody knows about it. And the same with, with, uh, freaking, I forget what it is. It's not Endgame, it's the movie before Endgame. When the Avengers died, bro, nobody can freaking, because everybody now knows that they come back. Nobody can get that fucking, like, heart wrenching. What? What the fuck did I just, what? Nobody can get that. Nobody can get that freaking feeling of seeing uh, of seeing Andrew and Tom come through the screen for the first time because everybody knows it's going to happen now. And, and shit like that, I think, is so fucking crazy. Like, that shit will never happen again. Nobody will experience that shit again because that, that scene, that moment is fucking tainted. But we experience it after 20 years <laughs> Fucking man.
magnificent. Two hours, 30 minutes. Over two hours, 30 minutes. I was in absolute shambles of love, hurt, anguish, and passion. Thank you for listening to my story, man. It's been justice. Peace. Oh, you man, and and please don't ask me about the fucking lipstick, bro. Like, like, chill out, bro. Like, I really, I, I, I really don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs>